Uh, looking beautiful as we zoom in and check out the next challenge. It's going to be Ethan Ewing up against Liam O'Brien and all Aussie Heat 7 in the round of 16. Let's go through a couple of replays here. First, uh, Peter Mel, Ethan Ewing. So we saw from the overview this wave, long wave for Ethan Ewing. Looks like he's behind here in the outside sections, but he finds the open face, and this is where he goes to work. This is where the maneuvers start to count. You know, you're stuck behind the section on the outside, so a little bit of opportunity missed outside, but the inside stuff here, razor sharp. That's what Ethan brings to the table. Just these really crisp and quick transitions through the lip, and of course, a little tail waft. Look at that there. Somehow keeps the speed up. He was late to it, but he was able to keep his feet over the board and move into that next maneuver. Again, ripping through the wall. That's his Really, his forte is his rail transitions. He keeps the speed up and slices through it and throws tons of water off the rail. His boards are built to be precision. You know, they're very narrow in the tail, they're thin through the tail. Ethan Ewing, reverse to finish. O'Brien continues his way down the line. Some sharp turns from the young man from Burley Heads. Kicks out early and I sense a paddle battle about to start right now to get back out into the lineup and establish priority. Liam O'Brien here and Liam speeding down the line. Nice arc for O'Brien. It's going to be some friendly fire between these two when we look at the Vista CT Shaper rankings both on Darren Hanley Designs. Felicity Palmentier take us through the rest of this wave for Liam O'Brien. Yeah, I liked it. I think it was nice, smooth, the transitional surfing between each turn. And like you said, they're both riding uh, DHDs, so the same shaper. And yeah, I, li I liked both of those waves. I think it's just a nice starting point, though. There's a few little sniffs going on. Possibly looking, we'll come back to that point. Looks like Liam. Here we go. O'Brien. A couple of pumps off the bottom. Quick snap off the top. Liam O'Brien zooming off the bottom, slashing off the top. Triple pump to the bottom turn. Throws a little tail there for variety in the foam. Carved back into the whitewater. Skips that section through the lip. One more snap. Working it down the line. Nice flow from Liam O'Brien. Inside. Punts. A nice tidy air reverse to finish. Here we go. We're going to have a look at the replay. Replay of uh, Liam's wave. Straight up into the lip there on that first turn. Backs it up again with a little bit of a drift across the lip. Throws it up for a third one. Gets the release on the fins. Nice, beautiful carve there. Down the line, transitional turn. Another one. And bringing it through to the inside here. I think these replays are going to give us a chance to really check out the comparison. I mean, this was a complete ride flick, but then... And you get to see it in slow motion, some of the technique from Liam O'Brien. But what I'm interested to see is the next replay is comparing mm. it to just the pace of Ethan Ewing. Ethan Ewing slashing off the top there. Great rail control for Ewing. More sharp rail game for Double E. <laughs> Working his way down the lines. Nice slide there. Variety swivels off the bottom, combos it up. Ewing, looking like he's surfing on a whole nother speed, oh. unfortunately pushes a little too hard for the finish, Peter. A lot of similarities between these two surfers, but I will say Ethan Ewing is bringing a little extra spark. Uh, mm -hmm. You can see it clearly, in, uh, especially in the transition ends and moves. Uh, I think the angle of the board through the cars, look how much more board is on rail. Yeah. Um, it, it, whereas yeah. Liam is going down the line, but his board stayed fairly flat. It never really got sunk in and that's the big difference for me because as soon as you know we got some live action though kipes wow. back to live with liam layback hack spins the fins out can't get back to the open face after that turn ethan ewing someone turned the switch on <laughs> ewing quick off the bottom snaps off the top a ton of spray there kicks out see that wave's running away and he wants to hold on to priority here's a replay of ethan ewing daniel's talking about him we get to see him surfing right now in the replay. This happened during the break, Peter. Yeah, again, uh, this kid, I mean, there's been tons of waves in this heat, but I wish that every heat was this exciting because uh, these guys are able to showcase their talents. And they're a lot more top to bottom on that, one, that wave because the ability 
of the wave choice. And uh, I like what he did here. Yeah, I do too. I, I think he's surfing so fast. And uh, Darren said it uh, in that little excerpt we heard from the lineup podcast, but he's just so precise with his timing. I mean, perfectly timed turn off the top there. And that score, uh, 7.6. Yeah, that 7.6 is a backup for his opening, 7.83. Ethan Ewing in the lead over Liam O'Brien, and it's beautiful to watch that in slow motion. Just the whole body mechanics, the technique, and really not a lot of wasted motion when we look at the surfing from Ethan Ewing. Yeah, you know, he does get those... Uh, those double pump bottom turns but he's able to do this little extra squirt as mm. he's going down the face so it almost looks like he goes into the single rail bottom turn but he somehow gets a little extra squirt before he hits the bottom turn yeah i see that it's it all it doesn't look too staged though it yeah. looks all in the flow and liam o'brien can turn the heat right now 15 seconds on the countdown o'brien obviously uses his priority a little downtime here comes around the corner Easy carve back into the pocket. Wave stands up here. Slashing turn for Liam O'Brien. Layback hack. This score is for oh, O'Brien's yeah. taking. Wow. He needs Definitely to just complete it. On his way. <laughs> wow. Gets the finish. 6.83, and I'm just going to go to an expert like Peter Mel. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, no, I, we, you, you almost feel like you know when it gets there, right? And and that initial tail free snap after the third, nice off the top. Um, you felt like it's going to be there, and uh, pretty confident that he's going to get the number. Flick, here's the replay. Liam O'Brien. Yeah, so composed on this wave. I mean, quite a bit of pressure, but he seems so cool, calm, and collected. Nice sort of cut back there to set up this move. Wave steepens up here and jams it in the pocket, releases the fins, and another nice slash there. Wow. That, that's, that, that was that a slam there, dunk. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, the slam dunk on the tail walk for sure. Good finish too. I mean, his legs would have been jelly <laughs> as he stood up, right? And he's like looking down the line going, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, hoping to gosh, that you get a rhythm going. And sure enough, he did get the rhythm and that turn that right great. there. Was uh, yeah, that was the slam dunk. It said, "Thank you very much. I'll take this uh, heat from you, Mr. Ethan Ewing." Wham bam, thank you, man. Got this wave with 15 seconds on the clock. So that is a late charge Clutch. by the surfer from Burley Heads. Clutch. And we, I mean, we seen a couple heats. The split decision, three it, two. It was actually a three under. two under. Yeah, and but they, the average but because is high the enough. other guys went so high that it was uh, he got it. So talk about down to the wire. That was a close heat. That was a close heat, though. I will give it that. I mean, you think wow. about it. That's splicing hairs all the way through that one. And great surfing by both those surfers.